one to 10, 10 being the highest, 10. Jonathan Ward snapped a picture of his 17 year old son beaming and smiling into the camera just days before he vanished. What's your worst fear? Hmm. That he's somewhere dead. That's my worst fear. Ward had just finished his shift as a grocery clerk the last time he talked to Brian. That was more than two months ago. Me and Brian were FaceTiming each other. I was on my way home from work, laughing, giggling like we do practically every day. His father says Brian finished his schoolwork and asked if he could go hang out with friends. Friends say they last saw him climbing into a black four-door Acura a few blocks from his home in Petworth. It was mid-afternoon on September 29th. I just want Brian to come home. We're all praying for you, Brian. All the churches, all the kids, all your cousins, everybody misses you very much. Very much. Detectives say Brian's record is clean. He is the middle child of eight siblings. I mean, for him not to tell his brother, they, they are like partners in crime. They are, they are really tight. Police say that they too have been searching for Brian nearly every day since September 29th. On the streets as far north as Baltimore and in cyberspace, no sign of him. They're unsure if his disappearance was voluntary or involuntary. But investigators are asking Brian or anyone who has any information to contact them. In Northwest D.C., Bruce LeShan, WUSA 9.